Welcome to the Jam Sandwich Eurac Sequencer First Look. Today we'll be sequencing some drums along with the Manus by Noise Engineering, just to give you an idea of how this device looks and feels. So let's start out by diving in with a hardware overview. The main interface is a 4x4 grid of click LED endless rotary encoders. This is where you will tap to select your mode and then just turn to adjust the value. Above that you will see the Jamometer. This is designed to be a lightweight UI to help you dial in each value as you go. Across the very top, you will find all of the connectors. Starting on the left, there is a micro USB connector for future use. Next to that is a stereo input for clock and reset. To the right of that are eight stereo outputs for 16 CV outputs of 0 to 10 volts. To the right of that is a stereo audio out. It is currently being used for audio description to help those who are blind and low vision interact with the device. Let us take a look at each row in the grid. The top row is all about each stage. You can turn it on and off, value, length. The second row is all about the mods, such as repeat, ratchet, probability. The third row is all about the track, track length, mute, etc. The fourth row is all about global settings, such as selecting your track, save and load, and more. Well, let's dive in and start creating a track. As a user device, you're going to hear it describe itself as we go along. Track one is our kick drum. Let's just start and see if we're on track one. One track. Yep, we are on track one. Let's look at the stage. Stage. To work more quickly, I want to adjust all stages at once. Adjust all. Stage. And let's turn them all on. All on. And now you can hear that the drums are firing across all of these stages. What I really like about this drum kit is it's velocity sensitive. Given it's velocity sensitive, we can go adjust all the values. Value. And now we can move them all up at once. All max. Now we can hear that there's more of an impact for the drums. But let's turn that down a bit. Adjust stage. Value. Now we'll just adjust a few at a time. Max. Bring up one to have a bit more of a hit. Max. And then we'll just adjust a few of the others here so that you can hear kind of different velocities and have a little variation as you're listening through the drum kit. We spoke earlier about modifiers. Let's add a ratchet. Ratchet. Right here on this last drum kit. Two. One. So we have our kick drum going. One. Track. Two. Three. I moved to the closed hi-hat on track three. I'm going to turn adjust on adjust all. all. Up here in the right-hand corner shows you that adjust all is on. Stage. We'll turn on all of the steps. All on. Let me just uh, bring up the hats over here as they're part of the drum buff. Let's go ahead and add some ratchets. Ratchet. One, two, we'll two, just, uh, put some two, ones three, in here. Two, one, two, and one. See how it sounds. One, two, one, two, three. All right, one, this is two, great. Uh, but these are also velocity sensitive. So let's go in and value. adjust the velocity. Adjust stage value. We'll just adjust individual stages here. And uh, let's go through and adjust a few so we get a bit more of a variation. We're going to fade on over and continue to extend this little jam by adding in the Manus Teratos from Noise Engineering. We're just going to go over here to the mixer and bring in some effects so it's a little nicer to listen to as we go through the demo. Let's go over and just mute the kick drum and the hi-hat for a moment so we can focus on the Manus. Muted. Three, two, one, muted. One, two, three, four, five. We'll jump over here to track five, which is a trigger for the Manus. Adjust all stage, all turn on all the triggers. And turn up the Manus. Go up here and uh, adjust the tack on the Manus. And of course, it's sounding gravelly as it often likes to, which is what makes it awesome. Five, track six. We're gonna set the pitch on track six. Value. 
stage. Turn on triggers for this. All You'll off. notice the shift in tone, and that's due to the overall gate length. So let's go adjust length. the gate length. All max value. Let's go ahead and bring the pitch down a bit by adjusting all the values. Over to track seven. Six track seven. This is where we're modifying value the parameters on the stage. Max. We'll turn all of these on. All on. You notice the pulse length. again. This is controlled by the over gate all length, so let's adjust that. You notice we can play with it to be shorter or longer. It can be a fun effect as well. All max. Now we have them all max. Value. Okay, let's adjust the value so we can start to hear the change. This has a very dramatic effect. Adjust the stage. Value. Now let's just go through and adjust a few at a time so we get a nice variety. Let's turn this last one way up so we get a different feel. Only be hit once in a while. Probability. Let's just bring that down a little bit more here. Let's jump over to track eight, where we can adjust another parameter on the menace. Seven. Track eight. And well, let's just turn on all of the stages. All stage. All on. Length. And again, we'll all go in. All and max. adjust the overall length value. We'll go ahead and adjust some of the values. Adjust value. Go ahead and adjust some individual values. bit more variety to this. Repeat. We'll add in some repeats. One, one two. Let's move back over to track seven. Eight. Track seven. Repeat. All right, well, let's add two, in a few more repeats one, here. One, one, one. Let's jump down and one, adjust the track length. Sixty. Max. Fifty. Fourteen. There's twelve. That should help give us a little more variety as it plays through. Now let's go unmute our drums. Set the track. Five, two, one. Unmuted. One, two, three. Unmuted. Gonna balance things out here in the mixer with the manis. We can add in some effects. I hope you enjoyed the quick walkthrough of the jam sandwich. Not only can you do quick sequencing and build out patterns, but we can do so in an inclusive way. So thank you for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you at Superbooth and beyond.